So hi, Pine Island United Methodist Church and any others that uh, might see this video. Um, no one needs a sermon right now, but uh, I was posting some worship, um, acts of worship on the page today and just thought I might include a message um, that uh, has a couple of things that I would love for you all to hear uh, on this day uh, of worship and on this day when we uh, are huddled in our homes and other places uh, away from this storm. The, the first thing that I want you to know is that I love you. Uh, I've only been your pastor for a little over two months, but I already love you. You, you already have my heart. Uh, I just enjoy worshiping with you all, being with you all during the week uh, in various places and Bible studies and visiting in your homes and in the community. Uh, I just have, um, I'm just so glad, I'm so grateful uh, to, to be your pastor and I'm so glad uh, that I got this opportunity. Uh, I just love you. Uh, I am crazy about you guys, and I, I see, I see myself, and I, this is unexpected, but I see myself being the, your pastor for the rest of my ministry. I, I don't know what God has for me. I don't uh, have any ideas about that or uh, any information about that. But um, I can see myself being happy and full of joy serving you as your pastor for the rest of my active ministry. I love you guys. Number one, that's number one, is I love you. Number two is that God loves you. He loves you more than you will know. And you may not believe that today. You may not feel that today. Uh, wherever you are, I know you might be you might be alone. Uh, you might be with family, but uh, but you're scared. And I just confess that I'm scared for a lot of you. Uh, I'm worried sick uh, for those of you that I know are in the path of this storm. But I know that I know that I know that God loves you. And I think you can know that too right now if you will just clear your mind for a moment and then like just let's just pause for just a moment uh, let's let's just be silent just be silent for a few moments put aside your moment and focus on the presence of God do that Let's do that, and I think that you will feel, as you feel, as you sense the presence of God, you will sense God's love for you. Just spend a few moments. God sees you right now. God knows what you're going through right now. He knows that because God is with you right now. Spend some time today focusing on God's presence and feeling His love for you. So number one, I love you. Number two, God loves you. And number three, God has plans for us. In Matthew 5, Jesus says, You are the light of the world. You are the salt of the earth. 
You are a city on a hill. That's what you are. You are light. You are salt. You are city. You are a city on a hill. I want to focus on the light that you and I are. I don't know what's going to look like in the coming days, but I know that we're going to have a chance to share the light that we have. I, I, one of my favorite songs to sing with children uh, is this little light of mine. If you have children with you today, you might take a moment and sing that song uh, with them. Uh, I love the what normally is the second verse uh, where it says, hide it under a bushel and I, with the children, I have them hold up their light and, and say, no, no, we're not going to hide it under a bushel. And so we're not going to hide our light under a bushel, although we might be tempted to. We might be tempted to huddle in our, in, in our grief, in, in our difficulty, but our salvation, our joy is in sharing our light. And so in the coming weeks and months, we're going to have a chance. We're going to have countless opportunities to share our light. And we're going to shine that light into the darkness of people's grief so that they will know that the worst things are never the last things. We're going to shine it into the darkness of people's losses so that we can all rebuild and be stronger than we were before. We will shine it into the darkness of people's despair so that we and they will know that there is an unshakable source of hope. And that unshakable source of hope has a name and we know that name. We will shine it into whatever darkness we find so that the people that we come in contact with will know that they are not alone. So number one, I love you. Love being your pastor. Could see myself being your pastor the rest of my life. Two, God loves you. Spend some time today focusing and and experiencing God's love for you in the midst of this storm. And number three, we're going to do some good things together, church. Let's shine our darkness uh, into the world. I hope to see all, all of y'all soon. I love you.